Welcome, this is part of my essential tips video. We'll go over a lot of good items and specialists. If you take a look at the items tab in the same menu as the production tab, and then check the unknown button, you will see and have access to all of the info regarding items and specialists. You can activate these items in certain buildings, like the town hall. Then the effect will be activated for all buildings within the range of that town hall. You can even learn how to obtain the items in multiple ways. Now, like I mentioned in my previous video, you can always take a look at Eli Bleakworth's infantry. And you can even reroll the items for 5k. Which, by the way, costs 5k more each time you do that. But it also rerolls automatically with time. So just check up on him once in a while to see if he has any good items to buy. And a pro tip would also be just leave a small ship next to him so that when you actually see a good item, you can buy it right away. Because his infantry is on a timer, I've actually missed a few good items because it had already re-rolled. I would really recommend you try to get the baker early on, which gives you a new input. In this case, he replaces the need for flour, and the bakery now processes the grain straight away, which makes the flour mill irrelevant and can save you some income and space. As you can see, you will be able to buy this, but also win it during quests. Another good item is the Actor, which supplies residences with rum and canned food when they are provided with the Variety Theater, which is huge. Rum and canned food are both pretty big and expensive production lines. Another example is Chef Michel, which grants a new input too, this time for the cannery. Instead of goulash, the building now processes pigs, which means that beef, red pepper and goulash itself are now irrelevant, which can save you tons of income and headache. Ferris Alsamari the Persuader is activated in the trade union building and gives productivity bonus of 50% for all production buildings, with workforce needed minus 10%, maintenance cost minus 10% and chance of riots minus 20%. The Chrono Metrist's Kiara gives new input too. Instead of gold, the clockmakers now process brass, which is much easier to obtain. Gold is another new world product and thus this means one trading route less. But there is more. The cementer gives another new input. Instead of cement, the building now processes clay and even the costume designer, which gives a new input for the fur dealer, making cotton irrelevant and ends up using wool instead, making it possible to delete another new world trade route. These specialists cannot be underestimated and can absolutely make life easier, especially on higher difficulty. Now upgrading each tier of settlers can be tedious work if you do that one by one. So make use of the tools the game gives you like the upgrade tool, which makes upgrading your city that much easier, but also the move tool, even with multiple buildings and the road associated with it. And if you want to quickly upgrade your roads to paved ones on console, you only have to aim on the building in between them and it will recognize it as make the road around it. Sadly, the upgrade tool does not work on roads as of right now, but this is a good alternative. If you've learned something today, I would really appreciate it if you were to click that subscribe button. On this channel, everyone subscribed is handsome, smart and well dressed. So you'll fit right in. Thank you and for now, have an awesome day.